Hello everyone, this is Generation Cut, and today I'm going to talk about should you or should you not buy Overwatch. So everyone's probably, well not everyone, but a lot of people have probably played the Overwatch beta and have like experienced it themselves. And like, there's also a lot of people who are wondering like, should I buy it or should I not buy it? So people who haven't played it. So if you like to play Team Fortress 2, or then you would pro will probably like this game as well. It's just the problem is, in my opinion, that there are a few heroes that are overplayed. As like, and I'm talking about the Hanzo, Bastion, Widowmaker. People, people know what people who played the game know what I'm talking about. There are a few o overplayed uh, Mercury as well, Mo overplayed heroes, and that's just because they're just that that stronger and easier to play than the other ones. Well, some are not easy to play, but they're just a lot stronger than mo than the most of them. And it might be a bit frustrating to play against those those ja those heroes all the time, but you will eventually learn how to play against them. So that's not too big of an issue. So, but if you like, if you want like diversity, don't really then this is not the game for you because people play all the same a lot at the moment. That's what I figured. It's like I I saw the same heroes all the time. Then comes to like so, but I still would like that's not a negative thing per se. It's like people just play what's strong, that's how it always works. Um, I felt like the game was a bit in between genres, if you know what I mean. It's like, I it didn't feel like a FPS, per se. It's like, it didn't feel like, like your Battlefield, Call of Duty, Counter Strikes, etc, etc. It didn't feel like those games. It didn't feel like a MOBA because you were playing first person. <laughs> Either, it's like most MOBAs, it's like, it's just an in between, most MOBAs like top down. And you know, you control your character, you can see other characters. So you, sort of, when you play alone, and that's what brings me like, it doesn't feel like a moment. When you play alone, it doesn't feel like you have a super huge impact unless you get like that huge ultimate ability you know, or something like that. So you get like a nice kill combo. It's like you don't really see what other people are doing per se. So you just, when you play alone, you just do what you want, what you can, and then hope for the best. So that is a bit of a negative point. But if you have friends to play with, and you can actually like coordinate a little bit, then it's actually a lot more fun to play. So, I would recommend to buy it if you have like friends to play it with, and if you play alone, it's kind of like, eh, it's like, if, is it worth the money for you? It's like, if you have money left, then sure, go ahead, because it's kind of fun. But if you don't have the money, like lying around f the freely to use, then I wouldn't recommend like buying Overwatch, because alone, it's not really that fun. It's like, if you have friends to play with, then sure, go get it, it's really fun to play with friends. But alone it's not really that fun. But overall, yeah, it, it plays alright. It feels sometimes a bit unbalanced when you see certain abilities go off that just are super strong. It's like an insurance, it's like always the the thing, like you can dodge it, but sometimes you just can't dodge, you can't dodge what you can't see coming. So you hear it coming, like looking at the Hanzo Earls, you can hear it coming, but you don't see it until it's actually going through the wall into your face. You're like, oh well. It's like if you're lucky and not squishy, you can survive it. But if you're not, if you, in general, it's like it just goes through your boom. It's like I think I've seen Hanzo get like the most plays of the games, just because of that ultimate. It's like, hey, here comes the skill. It fires it randomly, not randomly, fires it at the wall where you're standing behind, and like boom, everyone dies. <laughs> so that's actually a little bit. And like, what you have as well is a lot, lot of like Bastion camping, with it goes into sentry mode and it just camps everything to shit. But yeah, it's like. Would I recommend it? If you have the money lying around, yes. If you don't have the money lying around, wait it out a little bit until the game like evolves a little bit more. Because like closed beta is still like a huge difference between like open beta and shit, so they're obviously gonna change it. So I would it's like if you don't have the money lying around, wait a little bit. And if you have friends who who play it, then go play it because it's a lot of fun with friends. It's just a tad boring alone. It's like I felt like it became boring after like twenty games or something. Because you were like just sitting there, like hoping for the best, and obviously when you, you can make a huge impact yourself, so then it's a bit more fun. But if you're not that, if you're not that like good in general at like FPSs, it's like you might want to wait it out a little bit, or just play melee heroes like I did. It's like I'm generally good at FPSs, but I love playing Reinhardt. It's like as well, as you saw that in that little video, it's like I love making those plays with that ultimate and stuff. So and like obviously charging people off the edge of the map is the best thing ever. It's like if you have if it's like I don't have like a game clip ready to show you, but that's like the best thing ever. It's like you just go and someone always in chat the person you like charged off is like, Wah. but uh, yeah. 
it's it's like even though it like might feel so in the end conclusion let's bring it back get to the conclusion buy it if you have the money lying around because it's fun if you play if you have friends who play it buy it if you don't have the money lying around and you like and you only can play alone don't buy it it's like wait until it gets cheaper or wait until they get add like more hair like more heroes or whatever and if you're not really good at fps's like if you didn't try it out in the beta then you might be a little. Then I don't really know. Then it's like eh, fifty-fifty. It's like it's, it's really up to you at that point. It's like, do you want to get into it? Because it can be a little bit unforgiving. But uh, yeah, overall, I'd say it's a, it's a, it feels like a good game. You can feel it's like I feel like they they're missing a little bit to it. Like they're missing like that last step that makes it a great game. But Overall, it's a good game, and if you liked Team Fortress, then you will love this game as well. So, yeah. Personally, I'm gonna wait a little bit with it unless my friends start buying it because um, I feel like they add to need, need to add like a few more heroes in the game because it felt a bit too much of the same same every game. So, um, yeah. I hope you. This was some good advice for someone. And if it wasn't any good advice, I'm sorry. I tried, and. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.